The Federal Prospects Hockey League is a single A-class league, making it one of the five professional leagues in North America. If you watched my video on the Battle Creek Rumblebees, you'll know that the Battle Creek team folded and new plans were unveiled to bring a new team to the Mitten State. And this season, one team has started playing in Frazier, Michigan, the Motor City Rockers. The Motor City Rockers play their hockey out of Big Boy Arena. The arena has a capacity of 3,400. I visited Big Boy Arena multiple times. When I was younger, I actually skated here. And during the NHL lockout, my dad took me to see the Motor City Mechanics, a team that was playing in the now defunct United Hockey League. The team picked up multiple NHL players while the NHL was on lockout, with the likes of Chris Chelios, Darian Hatcher, Sean Avery, Brian Smolinski, and Chris Draper. But Draper never played a game due to some visa issues. Darian Hatcher actually played at this rink when he was younger with the Detroit CompuWare. The Rockers are headed by head coach Gordy Brown and assistant coach Corey Swider. Brown coached multiple teams around the region. His longest stint was with Northville High School where he served as the assistant coach from 2014 to 2017. The general manager for the team is Nick Field. Field attended Ferris State where he played Division I hockey. After graduating, he played for the Texas Wildcatters in the ECHL as well as the Huntsville Havoc in the SPHL. Post playing, he ran the Lake Orion Varsity and Junior Varsity programs and then he took the helm of Oakland University's Division I ACAJ team for two seasons. As of making this video, the Motor City Rockers are 12-5-3. They are currently second in the Continental Division and they're off to a pretty hot start. They sit with a plus 7 goal differential and are 6-2-2 two two in their last 10 games. The team's offensive production is led by Scott Koch, who currently has 20 points in 13 games played. The team defensively has a name you might know if you grew up watching the Red Wings, Ian White. That's right, as I mentioned, the Motor City Mechanics had a couple of Red Wings players on the team and the Rockers do as well, in White. The 38-year-old played for the Columbus River Dragons last season and now finds himself in a familiar area just 30 minutes away from Detroit. In between the pipes for the Rockers is Trevor Babin. Babin actually just recently returned on loan from the SPHL. So now you may be wondering, uh, you know, it's just a brand new hockey team, what's so special about it? Well, tickets are very cheap, especially compared to Red Wings tickets, and I find the games quite enjoyable. Now, I've already been to a Rockers game and enjoyed it quite a bit, however, that was about a month ago. So let's go to a game together, shall we? After walking in the stadium, you are greeted with this view, and I have to say there is not a bad seat in this place. Tickets are super cheap as well. I mean, if you're looking for a good place to take your family, this would be a great choice. The Rockers have their own kids section, and if your kids range from 4 to 10 years old, tickets are only 10 bucks. You can bring your family here and enjoy some good physical hockey for cheap. They also have their own merch for sale in the stadium if you want to show off your Rocker pride. They also offer something called the Rocker Roadies membership, which is $25. With this, you get a free t-shirt, a photo of the team, access to special events throughout the season, and an end of the year party. The arena also does sell alcohol as there is a bar located inside of the rink as well as a little small bar off to the side right next to the merchandise stand. They also have their own concession stand and the food here is very very cheap, which is a plus. This team is local to me and it's nice having a team like this close to me. I don't have to spend an arm and a leg for some decent Red Wings tickets and I highly recommend that if you're in the area and you're looking for something to do, come check out the Rockers. I mean they are great with kids, I mean you can see here. You know, after the game, the kids can meet the players. The players are super nice with the kids. Sometimes they play around with the kids. And I mean, it was just a really good experience. They average 827 people per game, and I'm hoping more people will come out to see the Rockers to see what they're all about. You won't find a cheaper professional hockey experience anywhere else than Big Boy Arena. I just want to give a big shout out to the Rockers and Nick Field for allowing me to come in and take some footage. I also got some photos of the team, so if you want to check out the photos that I took, they're in the description. And once again, thank you very much. Also, a special shout out to Derek for allowing me to use his lens for some of these photos. I think they came out amazing. Hopefully you guys go to a Rockers game soon. I promise you won't be disappointed. Such a fun time and it is really cheap for the experience you get.